If you want to know the best Netflix original science fiction movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. Number 10. Extinction, directed by Ben Young. It tells the story of a man who begins to experience disturbing dreams of losing his family. His nightmare turns into reality when the planet is invaded by an off-world invasion. But fighting for their lives, he discovers a hidden strength that can keep them safe from harm. What the hell is that? You see that? You kidding? Of course I can. Number 9. Did you hear what I said? Party tonight. Oh, I hadn't heard about it. Eye Boy is a science fiction teen action thriller film directed by Adam Randall. With an original premise and strong performances, Eye Boy combines coming of age with action just as its main character becomes a cross between living flesh and virtual system. When an accident leaves a teenager with fragments of his broken smartphone embedded into his brain, he is turned into an actualized app with superhuman powers. Yeah, he might not have invited you. Everyone still thinks you're in a coma right now. Right. But you should come. <laughs> what, you're not going to school? They've done all they can for me, son. Number eight. I do something the new me wants to erase. A high-class cool girl. Anon is a science fiction thriller film written and directed by Andrew Nichol. In this dark vision of the future, crime as a concept has vanished from society as private memories are recorded and visible to the government. But when a troubled detective, unhappy with the state of the world, stumbles upon a mysterious girl invisible to the system, he realizes that this might be the re-beginning of crime. Thanks. Drink? I don't drink. What do you do? Number seven. I'm saving people's lives. How the hell are you alive? In the Shadow of the Moon is a science fiction thriller film directed by Jim Mickle. Set in the 80s, In the Shadow of the Moon sees passion grow into obsession once more as a police officer is confronted with a serial killer that surfaces every nine years. Dreaming of becoming a detective and hunting the monster down, he is confronted with his inner demons when the killer defies any scientific explanation. Now his obsession may destroy everything around him. Every nine years, when the moon sets, I can come back, but not for long. Moon? What do you mean come back? Huh? Number six. The Discovery, directed by Charlie McDowell. What if everything that happens on Earth finally made sense? How would it affect humanity? Set in the near future, the discovery is the story of a horrifyingly beautiful discovery. The definite existence of an afterlife is proven, leading millions to commit suicide to reset their existence. Only the son of the now isolated inventor wants to find out what it all means. Hit it again. You're gonna fry the body. Toby, hit it again. Again? Hit it again. Number five. Let's get to the tanks! We'll get to the tanks! Move it! Move, move. Spectral is a military science fiction action film. Combining gritty and dark black ops themes with the supernatural, Spectral is the action gem you seek on a popcorn movie night. The film follows a special ops teams operating on the most difficult missions, and their talent is tested when they are sent to defeat a mysterious supernatural enemy, one that operates as smart as they do. Number four. We should go while we have the chance. And take the Ark to the block. Oh, come on. Just hear me out. Ark is a science fiction action film directed by Tony Elliott, offering the modern and intriguing premise of sci-fi combined with political thriller. Ark sees a brilliant engineer solving a problem that haunts his world. They have run out of oil. Sitting in his factory with a machine that could provide infinite energy, he is suddenly surrounded by mysterious intruders. Worst of all, he is reliving the same day over and over again. You haven't changed. Still selfish. I'm selfish? All I care about is you. All you care about is the block. Ren, there is a war on. I don't have time for us. Number three. <laughs> 
peut-être qu'eux aussi sont sortis. I Am Mother, directed by Grant Spoutor, the science fiction thriller was released in 2019. Set in a distant future post-human extinction, I Am Mother follows the story of a teenage girl being raised by a robot tasked with repopulating the Earth. The movie impressed critics with its unique storytelling and outstanding score. Clara Rugard knocks it out of the park with her performance as the daughter. Did you know there were people out there? I'm as surprised as you. This facility was designed by humans as a failsafe, programmed to activate in case of their extinction, to give humanity a second chance. Number two. You're being controlled by someone on Netflix. What is Netflix? Is it a planet? I, I don't know. Is it? Black Mirror Bandersnatch is an interactive science fiction film directed by David Slade, setting new, fresh sails for cinematic storytelling. This Black Mirror spin-off makes the audience part of its plot more than ever. In this complex interactive experience, you can decide the choices of the characters, actively forming their arcs and development, as well as completely changing plot points, genre and outcome, with the endless possibilities presented to a young game developer. Okay, well, let's try to pick it apart logically and see if we can define if this is reality or delusion. It's not a delusion. Okay, let's go through it. Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. Ta, what are you thinking? I am thinking of my own symphony. Your own symphony? Yes, I am thinking I will hide it somewhere where Alex cannot erase it. He does not erase you, Julia. It's not that simple. Ow! Ah! Ow! Ow! Get me out of here! Do you want a drink? What did you do to Nikki? Number one. Ten years ago, 26 local farmers from 26 far-flung countries were each given a super piglet. Okja is an action-adventure film directed by Bong Joon-ho. With director Jun Ho once again hitting every note the exact, perfect way to deliver entertaining stories with a twisted sociological critique comes Okja. The title giving extravagantly big animal is a friend to young South Korean girl, Mija. But when a big American company takes the animal away for their own villainous plans, Mija knows that she must save Okja no matter what comes. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.